Hi there YouTubers, time to start a, a weaving video. It's been a while since I've done one. So um, let me just give you a quick overview of what this project's going to be. It's an experimental project for me. Um, dealing with the size of the thread that I'm going to be weaving with. This will be the first time that I weave anything as thin as what I'm going to do now. Um, I think my last video was the blanket. Big huge thick threads for that woolen blanket. And usually when I do uh, the cotton linen or the cotton, I use a size that's in metric uh, because it comes from Sweden very often is called 22-2. And I don't know how that exactly translates into imperial sizes. But there's also, it is very, it is very close to an imperial size cotton called 8-2. And um, that's about 3,300 yards per pound, if I remember correctly. Well, this time I'm going to do something half, half as thick, so twice as many yards per pound, um, <coughs> about 64, 6,500 yards per pound. I'm going to be using what's called 16-2 cotton. So let me show you. I don't know if these will show up, but I'm going to show you the thread sizes. This, this one is 16-2, no, this one is 8-2 cotton. The yellow one is 8-2 cotton. I'm not going to be using this this time, but this is about the size thread that I usually use. So let's get a piece of thread getting tangled. This one is the 16-2 cotton. I, it's, I picked up a different color here just to show you, but uh, this is 16-2 and it's about half the, um, the thickness of the 8-2. So one of the reasons I'm doing this particular project is I don't know exactly how many threads per inch I should set this up for in my loom. When I look online I see numbers anywhere from 24 to 36 threads per inch and that's a pretty big variance to know how you're going to set it up to weave. So I'm putting on a warp that I can't even tell you how wide it's going to be because it's going to be depending on how many ends per inch. Um, I've set it up, I'm, I'm going to guess that at 30 ends per inch I should get 14 inches and that I'm going to try weaving with it and see if that works out right and if not I'll go to 32 or 36 ends per inch depending on what seems reasonable. So there's the yarn. I've already got it measured out and sitting on the loom and here's what it looks like on the loom before it has been wound on to the back beam. It's just tied on. It's through the rattle up here, but I haven't gone anywhere else with it. So this is what the project's going to be. It's a combination of natural cotton, un unbleached, undyed, and some kind of royal or navy blue that um, I'm going to use. And it sets so that Every it's set up so there's always eight threads of natural, then two of blue, then eight of natural, then two of blue, all the way across. And like I say, my initial plan is to try it at 30 ends per inch. So that's enough of an explanation. I'm going to get this wound on, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Um, maybe pulling it through the reed. Maybe I won't even show anything more until I start weaving. So that'll take a day or so, but I thought I'd give you an idea of it, what I'm going to do next. Well, YouTubers, I have woven about a foot, foot and a half length. I haven't really measured it, but I could. Anyways, I wove a chunk of this 16-2 um, cotton thread, and it's... 14 inches wide 
up here in the reed. But I've woven about 16, 17 inches on this. Um, probably really more than I needed for the sample I'm doing, but anyways. So this is the 16-2 Codlin thread. Um, it's just a hair under 14 inches wide in the reed. And I've got it three ends per dent in the reed. And it's about a 10 dent reed, although it's a metric reed, so over the course of the whole reed we're off by one or two dents from 10, but it's so close to who cares. And the purpose of what I'm doing again is to see how many ends per inch are optimal to work with for this thread. So the other thing to check, and I need my other ruler to do that, is I measured this way, these little squares here. Let's have you zoom you in a little bit. So the the blue and white squares making makes it easy to count things are every ten threads. Okay, so there's eight white and two blue makes ten. And if I go this way, I get 10 squares comes out to exactly 3 inches going across. But when I turn it this way and count out, I'm down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Coming out to just a little bit over. Let's check my count again. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just a, it's about three and an eighth. Maybe three and three eighths. Three and, yeah, about three and three sixteenths. So it's just a teeny bit longer this way than this way. So I'm not quite square. This, this way is not quite as long as this way, which means I'm just a little bit off of square at 30 ends per inch. So I might be able to go from 30 ends per inch down to 28 ends per inch and try it that way, but then I'm going to have an uneven number of threads in the reed. So I think for the purpose of tabby, 30 ends per inch makes sense with this. Now up here, I'm just beginning to do twill, and I can see already that this is packing in a little bit tighter than the tabby. So it's going to be that I really should have um, a more densely packed ends per inch. But I'll do some weaving up there and then some more measuring and see how it works. Okay, you can already see these are virtually squares and these are turning into little rectangles because when you're beating twill it'll beat tighter. The weft will beat in closer because you've got the openings between the threads are better. So I can see already that I need to have um, more ends per inch when I'm doing twill, more ends per inch of warp in order to get a balanced weave at twill. But just to show you what it's looking like, I'm going to do a quick set here. So count out one, two, three, four, five, So 
there's another um, row done and I definitely need to have this a little tighter. But that's why I'm doing this experiment. Okay YouTubers, I'm gonna um, continue this. This is the I'm, I'm now at 36 threads per inch and I've done my um, chunk with the, the small threads and I've got a little bit of extra warp to go. I'm not going to try and take this any finer than 36 per inch. So let's just do a little bit of weaving before I cut this all off. And um, take it in by Judy's, Judy's sewing machine where I will put hands on it and then throw it into the wash machine to see what it looks like after it's finished. That was four. I'm counting my threads. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Now I'll switch and do 10 of dark blue. So throw that up on the top. One. Two. Three. Get that out of there. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just an editorial comment. Working with this thin thread produces a, just a nice fine cloth. But I'll tell you what, you do an awful lot of throwing things back and forth when you're going at 36 ends per inch. Um, so the weaving is a bit slower. I mean, if you were, if this were a modern, um, high-powered commercial loom, it'd be bzz, 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 back and forth so fast we wouldn't know about it. But when doing it by hand, using a fine thread makes it a really slow process. Oh well, I'm going to do some more weaving offline from the camera and when I cut this off um, I'll probably show you that and then show you all of the uh, three chunks at the three different ends per inch that I got out of this. That's next. Hello again there YouTubers. Finally getting to the end of this video. Um, it's a couple days later now. I've taken the three sample pieces off of the loom, washed them, dried them, ironed them just to make sure that they're even to, easy to work with. And here's the first of them. This is the one that was done at 30 ends per inch in the warp. Um, yes, I did do something people think is crazy at Weaver's Guild. was. I unslayed and reslayed the reed twice in the middle of this project, but that's the way I got um, the correct number of ends per inch. So at 30 ends per inch, we found it was the 16-2 Cotillon thread. I get a very even beat for the warp and the weft is even at, if it's uh, tabby or plain weave. <coughs> that's this. But if I'm doing twill it's way too tight. So then I tried 32 ends per inch. It's almost even in the plain weave but it's still too tight for uh, twill. Going up to 
36 ends per inch. I'm very close to even in my uh, twill and the tabby or the plain weave is kind of elongated. So my conclusion is that the, the experiment worked because it told me how many ends per inch I should use when working with this 16-2 cotton thread. And the answer is for plain weave set it to 30 ends per inch, for twill set it to 36 ends per inch. So that concludes the video. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be before this part or after this part. I'm going to put in a couple of still pictures that I took of the um, each of these pieces with a little six inch ruler on it. So if anybody wants to stop it and actually do the counting, um, the lines, the way this was done, I've got um, effectively blue lines every there would be eight white and then two blue to make ten threads. So if you want to do your own counting, feel free. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I know it's been a long time since I did a weaving video, but I needed to do this in order to plan my next project, and that's going to have to be done pretty soon because I've got a deadline on that one. So hopefully... We'll get that video up fairly soon too, but not real, real soon, because I haven't started it yet. I've got to do the work. Anyways, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.